Welcome to the Ordinary Marathoner Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Ordinary Marathoner Podcast. My name is Coach Scott. I'll be your host today. It is Monday, January 6th. Hope those New Year's resolutions are still going strong. I got to tell you, mine... Awesome. Awesome. Doing really well. Doing really well. We're going to update you in just a minute. A um, couple things first. We have some Team Ordinary people doing races this past week. Um, again, if you don't put the races on the race calendar, I don't really know that you do them, that you did them, but I did see these two guys running races. Uh, Sarah Bauman did a half marathon. I don't really remember the name of it, but she got a really cool medal. It had a, a bottle opener on it. A cool medal, man. Uh, I got to think about that for the Ordinary Marathon. Uh, <laughs> it just seemed like a really cool medal. Um, you can take it out to parties, and then you got an excuse to wear your medal all day long. You open in beer bottles. But uh, <laughs> congratulations, Sarah, on, on finishing that half marathon. Stephanie Brown out there doing a 5K too. Again, um, put your races on the race ca- on the race calendar, and I can and I can announce them here. Otherwise, you're just um, you're at the whim of whether or not I see you post them uh, when you get through with them on on the Facebook page. Couple of big races, really one big race. It's a, kind of sort of a big race. It's Disney Race Weekend this weekend. We got a few people out there in our, in Orlando that are, are are getting some things done. First off, we have Adam Slavin. He's doing his uh, his second half marathon. I believe it's his second. He did his first couple months ago. Uh, he's been out there. He's been out there training. I've been seeing him doing some runs. He's po- he's posting them on Facebook and 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 I think I see him on Strava doing some runs. That's great. Uh, you know, I want to see Adam. I want to see a little improvement. It hasn't been that long since since half marathon one. But let's get a little improvement in there. I'd love to see it. Yeah, this is the coach and me coming out a little bit. But I'd love to see it. I want to see. Uh, I want to see how you do. I'm. I'm kind of anxious. Like your race is like. I think I'm. Even though. Even though. We have two guys doing the dopey challenge this year. I think my favorite race is going to be Adam doing the half marathon. Moving on. What is the dopey challenge? Um, now Disney does this. Disney has a whole running weekend, and I don't know what you know. I've never been there. I hear awesome things about it. I hear really good things about it. You know, if there are two complaints that I hear consistently, it's A, it's too expensive, and B, they start these races at like four in the morning. And I think the reason they do that is because um, they run through the parks, you know, and so they want to get people through the parks so that they can open them for the regular uh, the regular visitors, the everyday visitors there. You know, no one wants to be online with their kids at uh, at Pirates of the Caribbean, and then see you know Ray Magana all sweaty running by in shorts. Uh, geez, you think the pirates will scare your kids? <laughs> I'm sorry, Ray. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know you could take it. That's why. I, that's why I. That's why I kid. I kid. Uh, anyway, the Dopey Challenge. So this is what it is. So the whole race weekend is on Thursday. They do a 5K in Disney. On Friday they do a 10K. On Saturday they do the half marathon. Adam Slayton will be doing that, and then on Sunday they do a full marathon. If you now you can do each of these races individually, or you can do them all. And if you do them all, it's called the Dopey Challenge, and I think you win a special medal for that as well. I think there's also a Goofy Challenge too, but I'm not really sure what that is. That might be the the half and the full. I don't remember exactly. Uh, but the Dopey Challenge they call it the Dopey Challenge because you got to be dopey to do it. But Ray Magana and Todd Snyder, uh, two team ordinary guys out there. Giving it a giving it a go, and I'm sure both of you guys are going to get this thing done, man. Both, you know, been working hard and uh, get it done. I think you guys are, are planning on possibly meeting out there. Let's see a picture on Facebook with your Team Ordinary shirts, maybe with Team Ordinary hat. Would love to see that down in Disney for Disney weekend. Good luck. We'll be following you guys all weekend. I wanted to get that out. I know it's only Monday, and this race doesn't start. You know, the 5K starts on Thursday. So I want to get it out uh, and make sure, just in case the next podcast I put out is until Friday. So I want to make sure that I mentioned it. Now, let's talk a little bit. Um, I hope you guys are doing really well so far in the new year. All right. Now, I want to talk to you about a little bit about a uh, something that happened to me recently. Now, I have a friend of mine, and I want to say his name because uh, you know I don't I don't want to I don't think he'd want people to know that he has these conversations with me. Um, but he's you know he's not an old friend, but sort of a recent friend. But we have a decent relationship, so I am um, you know uh, we have uh, we can have honest conversation. And he said to me, you know, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. And I'm, and I'm like, we're, you know, we're typing, by the way, we're not talking. I'm like, kind of rolling my eyes, like, oh, what's coming next? I gotta be honest with you. Um, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't really remember the exact conversation. Um, struggling, listen to the podcast lately. It's been very kind of pessimistic and down, like not. Uh, he's like, uh, you know, I used to train all the time. You used to be very motivating, and and I don't, I don't feel that anymore. 
fine. Con- constructive criticism. I love it. I love it. Never be afraid to give me constructive criticism, all right? It's very hard. It's very the easy thing to do is to change the channel, right? And not listen to the podcast or, or watch our YouTube channel. Just change the channel. Uh, it's what's very difficult to do is approach someone and say, "Hey, um, you know, I'm I'm not feeling it anymore. I'm not, you know, I don't know what's going on. Things are different." And criticize, you know, offer criticism. But you know, I got to tell you, as, as a person who does who produces this kind of stuff, uh, this kind of content, it's what I want to hear. It's what I, I, I'll take the criticism. Uh, I will evaluate that criticism. And if it's fair, hey, I'll try to make changes. And that's what we got here is because uh, this friend was right. He was right. Now, I've been struggling a little bit training the last two months, November, December. And uh, and it's hard. It's hard when you struggle. And it's hard for me. To, it's hard, Not only is it hard for me if I'm struggling with the workouts and the training, it's hard. And I, and I mentioned this in the last few podcasts, it, which is why he said it was pessimistic. Uh, but it's hard because I don't, I'm, I, the one thing I've always said about this podcast is I'm never going to sort of, sort of be fake about it. I'm never going to put up a false front, tell you guys, hey, I'm doing training. Hey, I'm doing great. Uh, if I'm struggling, I want, to, I want to talk about the struggle. I want it to be real. So, and the fact of the matter is, yes, for the last two months, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle to, to get the training in, to get my workouts in. I haven't really felt very inspired. I haven't, you know, uh, I don't have many goals to reach for that I, I wasn't really uh, embracing them. Uh, learning bad habits, though the good habits that I learned in the first half of the year, they seem to have just sort of faded and I lose them just one by one. And it just turns bad, fair criticism. Um, and it, I think it snowballs even further because one of the things I've been talking about lately too, is how I record the podcast. And some days, literally, uh, we'll put it this way when I'm in training and I'm doing well, I come in here, I sit down, I talk to you guys on this, on this, you know, right to the camera, right in the mic. And these things just churn, churn out themselves. Uh, it, they, it's easy to talk when I'm, when I'm in the good training mode. It's more difficult when the message that I'm getting across, cause I want this thing, I want this podcast to be positive. I want it to motivate people, but it's one thing, um, for me to, you know, to come out here and, and put a, you know, to, to, to give you, if I'm talking and in, in, in telling you the truth and it's sort of negative, if you're following me. So if I'm telling you the truth, but it's negative, it's not something I really want to produce, but I, I try to do it. And the problem is I wind up recording. I say something I don't want to say, or I don't like the way it sounds. I record it over and over and over again. And literally, instead of like tr- like training in the morning, getting the podcast done and moving on, I sit here in front of the, ca- the camera for hours. And, uh, and some days I don't even put anything out. Nothing gets produced. Bad habits. It snowballs into a bad thing. So I kind of, you know, obviously I had New Year's sort of in my head as a line for many different things. And again, it doesn't have to be New Year's, guys. You can do this any point in time. In fact, if you have broken your New Year's resolutions already, I urge you, don't give up. Don't give up. You know, if you missed that gym a couple times and you are like, why do I even bother? Well, there's a reason why you tried to do this to begin with. All right, so make changes, evaluate it, make changes where you can. Um, you know, try it again, try it again. Don't give up so easily. Uh, just keep moving. Of course, now, now all the guys that like st- that go to the gym every day, they've had that one week of people with their resolutions. Now they're like, oh, Scott, tell these people just to stay home. They're not going to be here for two weeks, and uh, gyms can be crowded for two weeks. But anyway, don't give up on yourself. Don't. Get, and it's never. It doesn't have to be New Year's. If you make a New Year's resolution, it doesn't have to. And you and you blew it. You don't have to wait till next year. That self-evaluation is always key. It's always important. Uh, I only pointed out on New Year's is because it seems to be a tradition that a lot of people have. And if you haven't done it in a while, what a, what better time to do it? The days are getting longer. You know, the days are getting longer. Uh, the winter, the, the winter, the, the weather is going to start getting better in a couple months. Um, we're through the holidays. Everything's good now. It's it's the sky's clear. We're just moving forward with training. Get it done, guys. Make you know make the commitments now. Um. So listen, you know, I I know that these podcasts need to turn around. I know they need to change, and I've had some ideas. We talked about this a little bit with with Stephanie, uh, but just to clear to clear them up, like really my two main, um, my main resolutions for this year were a to wake up earlier in the morning because I like training in the morning. I I do, and I hate to say I like because when that alarm clock rings, I don't like training in the morning. There's a specific moment between the time I actually, my alarm clock rings and I actually get out of bed that I despise. 
and I struggle. That hurts. It, it's, it's a choice every day that I have to make. But lately, the last, I know it's only five days, I've been making it. And I've been doing the right thing. And I've been getting up uh, and getting down and getting the workout done. Uh, that's, uh, that's number one. Number two was that I feel like I need, I have been training on my own forever. I don't like training with other people typically. That's, and I say that just in general. Is I, I haven't committed to training with other people. I've, I've done it all on my own. I, I Meaning I like to run on my own. I like to ride on my own. I like to set my own schedule. I feel like my schedule is kind of all over the place anyway, um, especially with the baby. And it's hard. It's hard to kind of schedule and, and be beholden to other people when it comes to training. I want to now having doing a podcast, right? That's like kind of like an, the antithesis of what I should be doing. And we have the team ordinary. We have we should be doing group projects. We should be doing things together. And so that was my second resolution. It was to be a little bit more social. Um, we're doing that. Stephanie and I are doing that. Know, we're planning to do it in the spring and the in the summer with our workouts by getting Ellie in the stroller, pushing her on the stroller, going down to the bike path with the bikes. We have the um, you know, the little thing where the kid rides, you attach to the bike and the kid rides behind you. Um, we have that thing going on. So, you know, a lot of plans. Those are the two main resolutions though. Get up early in the morning and get your training done and, uh, and be more social and, you know, just in general, um, just in general, be more social with your workouts. And I tell you, it's, it's, I've met some good people that have already started helping me out on this trip. But the one thing that I immediately wanted to do, and, and I, you know, I, I do, I, I do want to say that we've been talking a lot about Zwift and cycling. Now, yes, this podcast, when I started this podcast was Ordinary Marathoner because I was just running. I have been uh, co-opted into triathlon. <laughs> I talk about it a lot and I like it. I enjoy it. And I do enjoy riding. And now that I have Zwift on my indoor uh, indoor trainer, and I, I'm not a, com- I, Zwift doesn't pay me. I enjoy riding on Zwift. I enjoy the social aspects of it. I enjoy the technical aspects of it. Um, it's just, it's, it's the platform that I like the most. There are other platforms that do other things better, but from where, for what I, for what I need it for, Zwift is fine for me. And a lot of people that, that listen to the show also are on Zwift. And so we decided we we're going to do a, a, it's called a meetup ride every Thursday night at 630. And if you're listening to the podcast and you're on Zwift and you want to join it, all you got to do is send me your information and we'll make sure because we have to invite you. We don't, you know, we're not in touch with Zwift right now where we can put our own special events or anything like that. Uh, that could maybe be done down the line. But for now, we're doing these group, uh, group meetup rides. And, and I tell you, so we had last Thursday, we had uh, four people show up and that's fine. That's fine. It was uh, myself and Matt Shore, former podcast guest. Jacob Polzin showed up, and um, and Allison Knott, our team dietitian. How about that? I mean, that a good group. And we got out there. We stayed together. We did some riding. We had a nice little chat while we did it. It was a good, I don't know, 35, 40 minute workout, and uh, it was really fun. It was really fun. So much fun that we we talked about it. We we posted another another meetup for next, next for this week, actually it was next week. Then now it's this week. So Thursday, we're at Thursday night, six 30. It's going to be a weekly thing guys. So if you're out there and you want to join us, let me know. We'll send you an invite. We'd love to have more people and grow this thing. It was a lot of fun. We, you know, I've already, I probably invited 20 people this time, close to 20 people. And I got a feeling we're going to get, I don't know, eight to 10, eight to 10. That's good growth from four to eight, double, we're going to double. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to join, just let me know. I'd love to add you to the, uh, to the list. You get a great, you're going to get a good workout in and you're going to meet a lot of people. It's going to be fun it's, and it's going to continue to grow. So being social guys, I'm being social. All right. Out of my comfort zone a little bit. It's been fun. Um, so Thursday morning that with the second, right? Is that Thursday, Thursday morning? Set the alarm early, get up early. I was okay. I was in a good mental frame. Got up um, and got uh, got on the elliptical. And I, I went for about 30, 35 minutes, something like that. Great. Uh, day two. It was a little harder to get up Friday. A little harder to get up. I struggled. But I, I did. I, I, I probably wound up getting on the, on the machine. At, I think I got on the bike at about 6.30, which is a little bit later than I wanted it to. But I got it done. I got it done. Happy I got it done. Then it got to the weekend. And at first I thought, yes, two for two with waking up early, two for two. 
And uh, now the weekend's here so I can get some sleep. And I'm talking to Jacob and Matt. Jacob pulls in Matt Shore uh, in some Facebook messenger group or something. And one of them says, hey, how about six o'clock tomorrow morning? We'll meet for a ride on Zwift. And uh, and I let it sit there for a second because I'm like, my initial thought, my my knee jerk reaction was, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I'm getting my sleep in. I need a little bit more sleep on the weekend. Uh, I just, I need to, you know, I'm, I, look, I did it for the two weekdays. That's, I'm good. Now it's the weekend. So let's forget this. And then I kind of had a little moment where I was like, you know, this is what you wanted. And here it is right in front of your face. It is wake up early in the morning and it is be social. Those are my, those are the two things you wanted to do this year. And it is the third day or fourth day, whatever it was, of the new year. And you are going to say no because you want to sleep. Really? You're going to say no because you want to sleep. What, an extra hour, an extra two hours? If you're lucky, if the baby doesn't wake up? So I said yes. I said yes. And I met Matt and I met Jacob and we... Did a little meetup ride on, on Zwift, 6 o'clock on Saturday morning. And look, I know some of you guys wake up at 5 o'clock and earlier. I know. I applaud all of you. I'm not patting myself on the back here. I am saying, I am happy I got it done. I am, so I am patting myself on the back. <laughs> anyway, happy I got it done. We got done with the ride. It took about 45 minutes. Had a good little chat. Finished the ride. Hey, you guys want to do it again tomorrow? Got to say yes. I can't say no. I got to say yes. So we did it again on Sunday. Hey, you guys want to do it again tomorrow? Did it again today. Three days in a row. Been putting it up on Facebook group. Now we got people saying, hey, can I join you guys? Oh my God. The daily 6 a.m. ride, could it happen? It's happening. It's happening. And I can't tell you guys. I can't tell you. And I said this when I was, I said, I think the way I put it when I was talking to Stephanie on the podcast was, I feel like a better person when I wake up early and I get my workouts done in the morning. I feel like a better person. I feel like I'm more productive, I'm more awake, more energetic, get more things done. And now I kind of see it, right? Now I kind of see it. Because I've gotten up now for four, five days in a row, five days in a row, getting the workouts done. And man, I feel good. And and there's no more sitting in front of the camera for five hours and not getting things done. And there's no more, uh, you know, there's no more how sitting here just worried about how am I going to squeeze that workout in that I want to do and then bailing later on. I got my workout done in today. Now, granted, today I want to do another one. And most days I'm going to want to do another one. Uh, especially if I'm training for the things that I eventually want to train for and the goals that I, I think I'm going to want. I haven't announced anything. I don't really have anything special in mind necessarily, but uh, I'm just working hard towards other things. And I got to tell you, aside from that, the, the one development, which is just feeling better about myself and being more productive and all that good stuff, it training with other people, that holds you accountable. And I tell you what, it makes it easier to wake up in the morning When you know that someone is there waiting for you and you got to get up and go and you got no excuse, you got, you you don't want to, I'm sorry. So this morning, I'll give you a good story this morning, (sighs) sleeping, sound asleep and uh, someone starts kicking me. It's the dog. (laughs) It's the dog. It's 430 in the morning, Jake, Jake, the dog. And he's looking at me and he's like all over the bed and I'm like. And typically, I know he he needs to go out. He doesn't do this to me that often. He needs to go out. So I'm like, oh, God damn, I gotta get up, let Jakey out. I gotta wake up in an hour to go ride ride the bike. And uh, Jake just throws up all over the bed. It was disgusting. Throws up all over the bed. So Steph and I get up, turn on the lights. It's just uh, we gotta like 
clean up the mess now. It's just gross. It's just, no one wants to get up at 4.30 in the morning to do this stuff. Poor dog. Poor dog. He And he, you know, it's, he feels like he did something wrong. You can tell in his eyes, like, you feel like he did something wrong. But uh, it's so sad. Now, by the time that all gets done, now it's like almost 5 o'clock. And I'm like, geez, what do I do? I lay back down in the bed and I'm like, I got to get up in a half an hour. How am I going to do this? And I got to tell you, without those guys waiting for me, and I think it was just, it was just Jacob today. It was me and Jacob, but without him waiting there for me and without me knowing that he was there, there was, there was, let's just say a, a way reduced chance that I would have gotten myself out of bed after waking up at 430 and dealing with what I dealt with. So here's what I'm telling you guys. Um, if you, you know what, you might not be a morning person. You might just be like, look, this isn't even a thing for me. It's not even a thing for me. So like, you know, you're talking a, a wall here and that's cool. I get it. I get it. And you know what? If you have a routine that works for you, that's good. That's good. I don't want to ruin anyone's routine. But I tell you what, it is uh, me sitting here knowing that I already got 40 minutes done on the bike today. I got another workout today, but knowing I got stuff done, I feel great. I feel great. And my productivity today is through the roof. And uh, it's, it's just a great feeling. And all I'm saying is this, guys. If you need that accountability and you have Zwift and you want to come with us on these rides, I don't look, I can't, I hate to say that they're going to become a daily thing for the, for this foreseeable future. Obviously there's going to be days when I can't do them. If I'm going and traveling or whatever, there's going to be days that I, but someone else would be there to probably take it over uh, on those days. But man, it feels good to have that accountability. And I, I got to tell you, I, having this team ordinary set up, we have 60, 60 to 70 people out there uh, on the team. You guys all train hard. You work hard. You know, and, and we, we talk on, on the Facebook group all the time. So if you have, if you have Zwift and I mean, we had two more people today say, Hey, and you guys, the two people today, they're not even from the East coast. Like they're central time. And even out, I think one guy's like 4.00 AM. It's like, Oh, the ride's at 4.00 AM my time, but I'll go. What? What? Jeez. Makes me feel like a wuss, (laughs) but listen, uh, I gotta be honest. I, I am on, I'm in the groove. I am on, I, I'm on point the last week and I know it's only a week, but it feels good. It feels good. And if you guys want to join us, you just let me know. And again, I, as, as much as I, I look, I know we're talking about Zwift and a lot of you guys are just runners and you're not cyclists. And I hate to give you guys like that fear of missing out stuff. Cause it, uh, I, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, they're throwing a party, but they're not inviting me. And I know in Zwift and buying a bike, it's all really, it's a big investment. But if you can't, you know, if you can't join us on Zwift, apply this, take this discussion and apply it where you can find a friend to go run with, you know, go to the gym when it opens in the morning, um, bring someone along, get a routine together, you know, uh, it, I, yeah, I need, I want to train more in a group setting this year. I want to step out of that comfort zone. By the way, nobody, we did a, we did a Facebook live video on Saturday and we tried to see if some of you guys would do it. Nobody did it. Get out of your comfort zone, guys. I'm telling you, you feel better about yourself. We want to hear from you. We want uh, all that good stuff. Um, hey, what can I say? It's been a good few days. I'm feeling a lot better. I hope I, you know, share this energy with you guys and we can kind of uh, continue on into the new year and, and just crush it let's just crush it together all right and that being said let's get uh let's get moving i'll talk to you guys we have a podcast coming out with jason remington he's a cyclist you guys are gonna love that uh i'm working on that we're gonna edit that and get that out hopefully in the next couple days and remember every day is an ordinary day unless you make it extraordinary so get after it guys (laughs) 